What is that? You never produce it. Uh, can you tell me when uh, you get it the last time? And is it possible that there, was, uh, there were any probes and rest of Novichok in Russia as well? Just for your, for the reference, uh, we uh, shut down all the chemical pro programs in 1992. Since that time, uh, we started eliminating all the uh, chemical weapons and finished the whole story uh, last, uh, last September, that was September 17. Uh, 2017. Uh, so basically, uh, we never produced Novichok. Uh, we don't have any chemicals left in Russia. Uh, so basically, uh, this is just the fact of life. By the way, United States, which was uh, pushing all of us to eliminate the chemical weapons, is going to eliminate their weapons only in 2023. And this is just the plans. So, uh, why it's happening, I don't know. It's, uh, I'm not going to take your time. So basically, I hope I answered your question. Uh, the third, yes. We'll go, we'll, we'll count everything. So you're the, we'll the last one. <laughs> no, no, sound, sound, please. Thank you, Ambassador uh, Fandi from Phoenix TV Hong Kong. Can I just ask uh, two questions? The first thing is, um, what do you want to speak to uh, New Leia and Isabella? Uh, script part if you are long to read it to Russian citizens in the future. And the second... No, no, could you repeat it just a little bit slower? So my English is not very good, please, do this. Okay. If, um, what do you want to speak to the media and the sapel of script parts if you are long to visit the two Russian citizens sooner or later or in the future? And the second is, I actually I just want to follow your personal question. You say, why is it happening? Actually, uh, outside of the uh, Russia and the UK, lots of people feel, uh, feel confused why such kind of things often happen in the UK and Russia. Good question. I don't have any answer, you know, on the second question. On the first question, uh, we want to establish the truth. And uh, I'm quite sure that the Sergei and Yulia Skripal uh, would also would like to know, you know, what happened to them, who did it. And in order to, uh, to have these answers, we have to investigate. But for the time being, no investigation is happening. So that's why, you know, it could be me or some, somebody else, you know, it could be anybody from the Russian side. We want to establish the truth. And I think since then, uh, at least what we hear, that uh, Yulia is in a good health now, she probably, you know, tell, you know, uh, she could probably answer to some questions on, from her side, as, uh, I mean, um, on the questions that we put to the foreign office, and there are something like, I don't know, around 40 of them. So basically, this is the questions, you know, uh, what we want to hear. But from the personal point of view, uh, we, are, we are really sorry for them. And this is our people, and uh, I'm going to meet personally Victoria Skripal when she's going to come to London. Uh, in order just to, to have a good conversation with her and offer any help uh, what we can make, you know, to offer her everything. So th that's, 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 that's at least uh, uh, my goal.